All right, I'm with John Smith. He's just finished his uh, graduation, uh, hands-on experience with us. Uh, five days of fun and glory and blood and guts and all sorts of stuff. But John has been a um, trainer since he was 18, which is like 50 years with horses. Um, and he now lives in the Dominican Republic. And he came all this way to learn about how we take care of horses. Um, John, was the coursework um, give you enough foundation to start to to come here and feel comfortable with what we started with the hands-on? Yeah, it, yeah, it was because the online course was like an appetizer. It opened up my eyes um, mm -hmm. to many aspects of horsemanship, especially in this case pertaining to uh, equine dentistry and. It was from there that I realized that I had to take it to the next level. I needed to take what I read, what I studied, to the actual hands-on. I had to actually be able to do what I read, do what I was taught in the videos. And through that, I realized that it just became, it just came alive, mm. actually. Uh, once I started actually applying it, doing yeah, you said it was like you, it gone into three dimensions, like it became real. Right. Coming here for the hands-on course. Right. You know, it, uh, the actual experience of doing the the, um, the palpation, the the you know checking in, inside to find out what's inside a horse's mouth, mm -hmm. to be able to recognize the horse and his his personality and what mm -hmm. you're working with as besides what, what's in the oral cavity and to piece those things all together and to re be able to start to try and use a number of the different techniques, learn and try and understand when you use one technique as opposed to another mm -hmm. and try and blend them things together and it just allows you to start to build confidence in yourself. You realize that if there was any fear, there's no need for the fear. Mm -hmm. You know, you build that relationship with the horse, and as you progress and begin to get better, mm -hmm. little by little, with what you're doing, your confidence increases. You realize that hey, I can do this. You know, mm -hmm. and and if anybody really is serious about looking at dentistry from the perspective of horsemanship and traditional uh, dentistry. Uh, this is the school. This, this, these are the courses that you're going to want. Mm -hmm. And then when you get them and you're really serious about this, you're going to want to go to the next step, the next level. You're going to want to learn to be able to apply it because I receive instruction, assistance. They were always there. If I wasn't doing something quite right or whatever, they were right there to help me try and modify things mm -hmm. that I was doing to try and make me better so that myself being better, the horse can be much more comfortable with me in their presence, being in their, in their space working with, with them. Mm -hmm. y you need that, you know, and this is just, this is just pure horsemanship. This just makes sense mm -hmm. to do all of this this way. One of the things you said tonight was that you felt more confident, uh, empowered to, um, to be able to converse with people, to understand dentistry in a, in a much better, stronger position. To have, yeah, it's the uh, whole idea of the language, to communicate with, you know, when it comes to dentistry, the terminologies to use mm. where dentistry is concerned, to be able to relate with people and to demonstrate to people um, the knowledge that you have so that you know you can have a good conversation and communicate with other people like that it, it's just a it's just a necessity to be able to have that some of the breakthrough moments i saw um today when you were working that one horse that was objecting to you working on the first uh, lower cheek teeth and then with just some changing i shifting your shoulders or shifting your hand etc these are little uh, moments that we see as uh, teachers where the student suddenly starts smiling and almost being uncontrolled by saying, oh my gosh, 
Yeah. It's this little thing that makes a difference. Yeah. And, and just as important as finally getting it, also important is to realize when you made a mistake, when you've done something, and catch it. You catch yeah. it, you know, and not mm -hmm. have to be told. You go, you know, yeah, and yeah, say, yeah. oh, I know that was wrong. Yeah. When you can start catching yourself with these things, then you can start to begin to eliminate those things from yeah. uh, the way you go about doing things so that mm -hmm. you're not going to get yourself where you're stuck in bad habits because bad habits are hard to get rid of. Yeah. So. It's great when the horse kind of showed gratefulness to you. Absolutely. When it's kind of addictive. And, and I've had that experience now on where they just actually come over to mm -hmm. me, you know, they just kind of lay their head there and they, yeah. they just want to be beside you. And you know that the connection is there and the satisfaction is there mm -hmm. and their way of saying thank you. Yeah. You, you know, they just, they're grateful. Well, thank you. And we're grateful for you coming all the way this distance from the DRs. I mean, geographically, it's not that far away. But you made a commitment and you really worked hard in getting here. So we're, we thank you so much. Thank you. All right, John. I'll back.